which was also caught by the war's ending before she could get into action. Except for the midget submarine, Zehun, she was probably the finest sneak craft to come out of the war. Her two enormous warheads total nearly 900 pounds of high explosive. The crew of two rides inside a cockpit, which protects them from the water pressure and helps streamline the craft. The face masks and breathing gear are the same as on the older two-man torpedo and can be put on even after the men are underwater. SSB is 26 feet long, weighs a little over two tons, and has a top speed of six knots. Whether turning, diving, or running, the control is positive and rapid. Look at the ease with which the pilot dives and climbs underwater. The SSB is fast and powerful enough to overcome many of the tides and currents that prevented the other two-man and one-man torpedoes from operating successfully. And her cruising range of 45 miles is three times as great as that of the older model. Watch the fast, sharp turn to the left as she surfaces. Shipping is attacked in the same manner as with the older two-man torpedo. For operative technique, the whole operation is shown on the surface beside a ship. After coming alongside submerged and, in a real operation, sinking to the bilge keel, the number two man gets out of the craft with his clamps and fastens them to the bilge keel. As this is a merchant ship of 6,000 tons, only one warhead is needed to blow a tremendous hole, break her back, and sink her. The clamp holding the first section of the head is loosened. While this is being done, the captain holds his craft in position under the bilge keel in a real operation alongside the ship in this demonstration. When the head is loose, a twist or two by the man underwater frees it from the craft. As it has only two pounds of positive buoyancy, it is easy to pull it under and fasten it to the hull. The number two man then climbs back aboard his craft. With the second section of the warhead still in place, the SSB can attack another ship, making it possible for two men to sink two ships in one operation. This was the array of sneak craft pitted against the Allies, and the Allies learned by hard lessons that the best defense against them was constant vigilance and a full-dress harbor defense. Attack